Everything green about that fuels the label. It's the same shit with new branding. A marketing stunt. They're not running the most attractive operation here. I mean, they're pumping out weapons for Endrin, not selling timeshares. Looks probably aren't their priority. Made it to the delivery bay. Good. See that command post next to the gate? You should be able to open things up for me from there. Dusk, you're up. On it. Once I've got their attention, you go find what we came for and slap on this fancy new delivery label. Got it? end of nowhere if I didn't have a pickup? All right, all right. But I'm gonna have to search that truck. Then we'll see about that pickup. Knock yourself out, bud. According to the intel we received, the crates of explosives should be stored around here. All right, Dusk. The delivery label's been switched. Then it's time for us to get the hell out of Dodge. Wait. I smell something. Give me a minute to check it out. I knew I smelled it. Silver. 
Whoever ordered this intends to kill Garu. Dusk. They're shipping out silver bullets. You know what that means. Change of plans? Change of plans. I need to find out who's buying these bullets and why. Buy me some more time. the lady the boss is meeting with upstairs. She's from Andron, here for the special order. The silver bullets? Who even uses that shit? Is she picking up some golden guns while she's at it? You know what they say, the client is king, especially when the client's name is Andron. Shipment's loaded. How are things on your end? Shouldn't be much longer. Like waiting. Or paying, clearly. You're not getting anything until Endrin is paid up. You can tell that to your President Watkins in person. I don't think you understand what's at stake here. <laughs> oh, I understand that you've just been attacked and you're looking to hit back. I also understand that you need our ammunition to do that. And we've got that ammunition right downstairs, ready and waiting to go. As soon as you've paid us. Sorry, Major. The business is business. Well, fuck you two. Then we'll attack Tarker's Mill without your help. And rest assured, Mr. Watkins will hear about this. Tarker's Mill. Hey! You and I need to talk. Who are you? How'd you get in? I'm asking the questions. Who are you talking to? The woman! And what's this attack on Tarker's mill? I'm calling security. We have a security oh. breach. Die! <laughs> Bollocks! Security! Alert! <laughs> Dusk. What the fuck are you doing, Go? I just had to pop a couple guards who wanted to put a bullet in my head. Get the fuck back here already. Sorry, but I didn't have a choice. Keep the engine running. We're out of here as soon as I get back.
use of that. Boss's office, but I'm not getting any response from that sector. Take your positions, people. Maximum alert until the situation's clear. Stay on your guard. Make him hurt.
Where are we headed? Tarker's Mill. What do we do? Stop the truck. What's even down there? My home. Dusk, stay out of this. Wait, call! Rodko! Rodko, they've cleared our northern line. They have an exo. We'll take care of the wounded later. We have to stop them. Let's go! Move! <laughs> Tell me, where's Adana? Don't worry, Cahal. Your daughter didn't fight this battle. How are your wounds? Riddled with silver. They'll take days to heal. But things would have been far worse if you hadn't stepped in. I just did what I had to do. Nothing more. I honestly never thought I'd see your face again. Why'd you come back, Cahal? I was worried about Adana. When I heard the Cairn was being targeted, I had to come back for her. You know I couldn't stay. Not after what I did to Rafiq. I told you that your rightful place was at my side. And what you had done could be forgiven. No. You chose to abandon us. Me, the Cairn, your daughter. Where is she, Rodgo? With Ava. Working undercover at the biggest entrance site in the Pacific Northwest. Best option available to us after the failure of our last mission. Rodko, you let Adana infiltrate Endrin? My fucking daughter? After what happened with her mother? Your daughter is the best undercover agent I have. We will not win our fight for Gaia without first bringing Indran down. And with your daughter on the inside, we're closer than ever. She may not fight like we do, but she's every bit as strong. You should respect that. The work she's doing inside Indran is absolutely vital. More so after what their private fucking army just did to us. I'm afraid her work won't be able to stop Indran from retaliating against us. Not after our last mission. Rodko, you let Adana infiltrate Endrin? My fucking daughter? After what happened with her mother? Your daughter is the best undercover agent I have. 
We will not win our fight for Gaia without first bringing Indran down. And with your daughter on the inside, we're closer than ever. She may not fight like we do, but she's every bit as strong. You should respect that. The work she's doing inside Indran is absolutely vital. More so after what their private fucking army just did to us. I'm afraid her work won't be able to stop Indran from retaliating against us. Not after our last mission. Your last mission? What do you mean? You remember the old abandoned mine not far from here? Indran bought it and turned it into a training center for their new recruits. I launched an attack to wipe them out, but Tank Girl stopped us. The woman you saw in the Exo during the attack, she drove us back. Tank Girl, you call her. I encountered her during my last mission. She was trying to buy silver bullets from an arms dealer. That's where I learned she was planning an attack on the Cairn. Major Grainer. That's the name her men give her. But to us, she's Tank Girl. And she leads Endron's troops with about as much grace. Their attack on the Cairn was their first wave of revenge for our attack on the training center. We managed to repel them this time, but it's only a temporary victory. They might return at any moment. And Endron just keeps recruiting soldiers. Then we've got to go back to the mine and destroy their training center. It's the only way to buy the Cairn any sort of safety. No matter how brief. Go back? No. Not until I'm well again. Then we can strike. I'll take care of that goddamn training center myself. You know I can handle it on my own. No. You're no longer a part of this pack. It's my responsibility. And how long will it take for you to get better? Days? Weeks? If they return, the cairn will fall. Huh. I'll think about it. Go pay your respects to your Fen and come back to me. Then we'll talk about the mine. The cairn is in a bad way. Adana was only a few days old when Ludmilla wrote this letter. Agnes didn't even know how to fight. He was a spirit healer, a caretaker of children. Endrin doesn't show anyone he is. It has been many a year since I last felt your presence. Warrior of Gaia. It's been nearly as long since anyone called me that. Your care needs you, and the wild has need of your protection. The Eater of Souls is fighting with all his might to take control of it. And he is winning. The corruption takes many forms, but the effects are always the same. You must help us fight back. I came back to find my daughter. Have you seen her? <sighs> Adana, a dear friend, and always respectful of nature. You fear for her safety, then? She, too, is fighting for Gaia in her own way. But do not worry. You both walk the same path. You will find each other in time. To fight your battles, you will need 
power. Power I can provide by helping you develop your warrior gifts. Thank you, Ifen. You may find lost spirits during your travels. Return them to me, and I will be able to strengthen your natural abilities. One last request before you depart. Many of your kin fell in combat. I would ask you to bury them. You will find their bodies both inside and around the cairn. Your penumbra vision will show you the way. Soothe their souls and send them to me, so that they may travel to the wild without being captured by the worm. I will if I can. But my priority is Endrin's training center. Weaken the forces of the worm there, but never forget your brothers and sisters. Gaia needs you. I hope Rodgo's changed his mind. Please. But how? She was in the back, tending to the wounded. It's all my fault. They had a sniper. I just couldn't take him out of time. <laughs>